Welcome back to Beyond Beans and Weenies. I'm Lance Rowland. I'm Janet Rowland. We're the Rowlands. We are the Rowlands. Last week we were cooking with kids and this week we're cooking with husbands. Spouses. Yes, not sure which is easier, cooking with kids or husbands. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. We'll see. I'm taller. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. That makes a difference. <laughs> um, today we're making a beef taquitos. Ooh. If you're doing the recipe out of the week-long plan for, we were in week two, earlier in the week we had a roast. So you okay. could have saved some of your leftover roast and oh, made it with this. Good. Yes, Shredded we've meat. made it with hamburger. Mm -hmm. I've already cooked this up. I sauteed onions and garlic mm -hmm. and then a pound of hamburger, so I'm going to throw that in here. That looks good. Lance is going to add a half a cup of the salsa. Half? Here. The whole thing? Yep. You already pre-measured yep. it, right? Yep. See, she don't trust me to get a half a uh, cup, nope. so she just does it for me. We're going to mix this up, and then he's going to add the two tablespoons of chili powder that I have over there. Is that all? That's all. That's a lot of chili powder. Is it? Okay. Two tablespoons. Right. And then we'll add a little bit of cheese. I have a... Now, these are beef taquitos? They are. Now, sometimes, I've had a couple of times a Facebook fan has asked about leftovers when you have just a smattering, little pieces of everything. Mm -hmm. This is really good because let's say you have a little bit of taco meat left over, maybe you have some chicken left over from the baked chicken, and maybe you have some roast beef. You're not going to put all of them together in anything and become gross. You can stir that. So what you can do is make a few that are with their leftover hamburger, or a few with the leftover chicken, mm -hmm. or a few with leftover beef. Okay. See, then you have a variety of them, and you're not having to figure out what in the world can you make chicken, beef, and hamburger with. So there See, you go. I love Mexican food. Uh, yes, this you is going to be one of my favorites. I'll probably have to sample this after a while. Well, you've sampled them many times, dear. Which I got to say hi to my cousin Ed again. He mentioned that the last time I said oh. hi. Eddie and I love Mexican food. We can eat yes, this every meal. And so. this is a three-second, three-minute show, so we're going to... You keep talking, we're just going to move and work. Well, why can't we visit while you we work? You can visit. We're just going to You want this over here like this? Yes. Okay. Now, these are the tortillas Guerrero. I don't know what they do differently, oh, but they're possible. very, very, very thin. And so they're much, much better. Go ahead and put can some in. Can we see through them? Almost. Almost. We're going to add about half a, a fourth a cup excuse me, of this mixture inside... And just roll one them of up. the tortillas, and I always try and put it on the end, and then roll it up as we go. I'll see. You kind of see I've, I've been to Taco Bell many times. Yes, well, okay. See there? Yeah, that's a burrito. We're making a taquito. Oh, we, we need to a much smaller. Roll tighter, yes. Okay. Let's see, cooking with kids, cooking with husbands, I'm not hey. sure. But your cousin Eddie is a good cook. Oh, he's one. Oh, yeah, yours is, looks. Mm -hmm. Mine is a burrito. You want to grab that little? Oh, there? okay. Do you want any? Put, spray on there? No, because no? we're gonna um, put some olive oil on when we're done. So, so can we can have another tortilla rolling, and try it again. Rolling. This is a three-minute show now. So I put a little olive oil in here, and I'm gonna brush the tops of these, or tops and bottoms, just so that when they cook, they're a little bit. Um, here, just give me the brown, oil. golden brown, without having to deep fry them. We don't want to deep fry them just to save a little fat. But we're going to put them seam side down. And we're going to bake these at 350 because I pretty much bake everything at 350. Why is that? No, it's just a good, it's good, just a good, good number. Good number. Okay. Um, just until they're golden brown on the outside. Everything else is already cooked. The meat and everything is cooked. So it's just a matter until the tortillas are nice and brown. And there Probably you go. Probably a little crispy too, huh? Kind of, yeah. Want that olive oil to crisp it up a little bit? Uh huh, make it golden brown. That was the point. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you rather have me or Abby? Huh? I'm beginning to wonder. Yeah. At least Abby doesn't argue with me. Well, I haven't argued with you. No. I've just, just asked questions. He hasn't argued with me. It is on tape. We can go back and review it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I need um, public input now. <laughs> there we go. Um, All right. Beef taquitos, 350 for 10 minutes or so, and serve it with sour cream and guacamole. And I'm still rolling, folks. He's still rolling. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.